I honestly don't know why you guys put up with me. I am so bad at making videos. Like, I just, I don't do it as often as I should. I'm sorry for that, but um, I'm here. Yay. <laughs> This is Horse Over 1317 here, and I am back with another video. I know it's just been months since my last one, and I'm really sorry for that. I'm really bad at like motivating myself to grab my camera and actually do something. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm here to show you my Briarfest haul thing that everyone does on YouTube now. In and uh, I can't speak. Okay, well, um, <laughs> what I was trying to say is I'm not bragging at all. This isn't meant to be like a, oh, look what my pretty horse is. I got more than you. I have so much money. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, that's, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I know people want to see what I got, and I know that Everyone enjoys watching these, I suppose, because I see a lot of haul videos, and yeah, I'm I'm guilty of just literally binge watching Briarfest hauls. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm not going to give you an overview of everyone. I'm actually going to try not to show you everyone in the picture because I want it to be a surprise of who I got. Because not that. I'm bashing anyone, it's just that when I watch haul videos and they show you their bed, like the overview of what they got, I'm like, well, that's all I need to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. So, yeah, I'll just be keeping a surprise and we'll just go one by one. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so Thursday night, we arrived in Kentucky. Well, it was Thursday afternoon, really, because we left early early-ish that morning around like 10 so we arrived at the hotel and we stayed there for a couple hours and then we decided to go to the Clarion because we usually go Thursday night to just check what they got and I found this beautiful model his name is Danaway Tango I do believe and he is just freaking gorgeous I found him in a room and I instantly knew I wanted him because he was actually on my wish list this year and I don't know why I just really love this mold he looks really nice I love his markings he has really nice shading too the camera doesn't really want to pick it up but you can kind of tell I love his tail how it's like an ombre effect he has like the cutest little face look at that face oh my god and I'm actually in love with this mold. I'm hoping on getting more on this mold because I just love big, big models like this. He is just absolutely gorgeous. I got him for, I want to say $25. And then the other day I looked him up on eBay and he's selling for like, I saw one for 20 which was okay, but he had like rubs and stuff, which was probably why he was so cheap. And then I saw one that was like 30 to 40 dollars so yeah I really love this guy and I hope to get more because he needs buddies <laughs> so yeah that is him also on Thursday night I grabbed this guy this is Chance who was a mid-states release model thing he's limited edition I'm pretty sure and I saw him on the Briar website the other day for, I think, 40 bucks, and I got this guy for 30 so he was new in box as well, and there's literally nothing wrong with him. He's probably considered LSQ, I suppose. I mean, he has some shiny marks, but 
I think he's gorgeous. I love his coloring and his markings are really cute. And the one on his neck I really like. And his belly. He's a really nice guy. He's my third on this mold now, which is the Zippo Pine Bar mold, I do believe. So yeah, that's him. So Friday we did the special run line and the first model I picked up is, I think people are calling her Kaylee, but the way her name is spelled, I've been calling her Kali, because it's like K-A-A-L-E-E. -E. So I've just been calling her Kali. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if it is Kaylee or not. So you can pronounce her name however you want. And I absolutely love this girl. She is absolutely adorable. I love her face. I love the mold. The mold's really long actually because of her tail and her tail's really pretty. I just, I knew I really wanted her because I love her coloring. Like even in the pictures I was like, I need this girl. So I made sure she came home with me. And I was really lucky this year because for the special runs, we were in the middle of the line, like both days, which was great. And usually if you're like the first half of people, you'll get what you want, so that was nice. The next special run I picked up was a Bollywood surprise and I got the Bay Overo and Matt. I think it's an Overo. <laughs> That's what people have been calling him. I'm really happy to actually use the Loping Quarter Horse mold this year because I absolutely love this mold for some reason. And yeah. Because I have two other horses on this mold. I have Harley Deza and Tallulah. So it was really nice to see that they did this mold this year. Because I actually wanted some more in this mold. And this guy's absolutely amazing. I love his markings. His shading's so pretty and his colors are just stunning. And his eyes, I love how he has one brown eye and then one one blue eye. It's really nice. And his little markings on his hooves are really cute with the striping. That little marking right there is pretty cute. He's just a really nice horse and I'm I'm actually glad I got the mat. I was hoping on getting like either matte or glossy because I think they both looked really pretty on this guy. And Matt's just seem more realistic so he'll be a nice horse to do some photo shoots with. But don't worry, I'll take care of him. He's not gonna get damaged or anything. During photo shoots, I make sure none of the horses are damaged. Also on Friday, we picked up the Celebration Horse Nazrudeen. He is really cute. He's my first on this mold, and I absolutely love this mold. He's really small, which was pretty surprising because I thought he'd be a little bit bigger, but I guess Mawaris are just a smaller, more lanky kind of horse breed because he has really long legs. There's a stamp. So, he's really cute though. I love how, I know this is probably a flaw, but I love it. His little ears kind of curled more than it should be, and it's so adorable. And I actually got two of these horses, but I gave one to my friend already because the one I gave her had like overspray really bad under his tail. But, so, I can't speak. So I gave that one to my friend because she's not really a collector, she just holds like the second celebration horses for me. Because I know she'll take care of them. But yeah, I'm really happy I got this guy. He's really nice. His coloring is absolutely beautiful. I love, he like Briar just did a really good job on this boy. He's like my favorite celebration horse I have. He's so pretty. So yeah, that's him. Saturday, I didn't, I went to the clearing on Friday, but I didn't buy anyone because I really didn't see anyone I wanted and I've already bought like four, four horses, three horses the day before. So I was like, eh, or two, two horses, the special ones. And I just couldn't find anyone in the Clarion that night. So we had till Saturday and we did our special run tickets again. This time I went through the line. I was in the middle, like I said, again. So I was really lucky. 
And this time I picked up the second model I really loved from just the pictures. I got Indu, the glossy version, which I was just stoked about. Like, I would have been happy with the matte, but I just have a really big thing with glossies. I love glossies so much. And I think the gloss just really helps this guy's color and shading. My name is Dappling. His Dappling looks amazing. So I was really happy to open up a glossy Indu. He's really nice. I love his dappling and his shading. He's, he's probably like in my top five of my favorite models now. <laughs> he's just so pretty. He's my first horse on this mold as well. So that's really cool. Here's his stamp. Just says Breakfast 2017. He has brown eyes. Can't really tell because my camera's not that. Oh, he can. You can kind of see it. I just, I'm in love with this guy. And his stand's right there. He's a stand. I just don't want to put him on if I'm going to be showing y'all his gorgeousness. His tail's really nice. I just, I can't get over this horse. <laughs> He's just so beautiful. So yeah, picked him up. And then I went through the special line. So after, ugh, I can't speak. After picking Indu up, I grabbed another Bollywood Surprise. And I actually got the color I didn't like, which was the Chestnut, I think. Yeah, Chestnut. I didn't like that one for some reason. I liked the other three the most. Like the Bay, the uh, Buckskin, and the Pintalusa. So that night I went to the Clarion and... I was looking, I had my chestnut, and I was looking in rooms asking people if they want to trade with me for my chestnut, if they had like a horse I wanted, and I asked them if they wanted to trade. Many people said no, which was understandable, but I kept looking, and I came across this one room where this woman had her Bay Overo and her Matt Pinta Luce, so they were both Matt, on her bed, and they had the sign that said, like a hundred dollars for them or something. She was selling them for pretty cheap. So I went over to her and I was like, do you want a chestnut? And she's like, yeah, what well, do you want to trade for him? And I looked at her pencil loose and I was like, can I look him over before I like make a deal just to see if he's like fine, no flaws, anything like that? She's like, yeah, sure, if I can look at your chestnut. So we handed over each other's models and I was looking at her Pintalusa and she was looking at my chestnut surprise and we both came to agreement of of trading so I was I was super happy because the Pintalusa was my favorite and I really didn't care if he was going to be in glossy or matte but he is absolutely stunning just look at that beautiful coloring he is so pretty like I cannot he has two little brown eyes his markings are gorgeous I love his oh, he's just I can't <laughs> he's just so pretty I love him so much so yeah I got my first favorite color and I'm really happy because he's amazing and I just love him so yeah before we left the horse park, we went through the store. We like waited in line for maybe like two hours or so. So we were in the front. We went through Saturday. Yeah, this is Saturday. So when I got there, there were a ton of the store specials. So I ran over to the one I wanted and I started looking through the different models to see which one I wanted. I wanted one that had really nice shading and really beautiful markings, like barely any flaws on her, on her markings. So I grabbed Repeat the Beat, and she's my very first store special, like, ever. <laughs> she's amazing. I don't have anyone on this mold, so it was kind of interesting to see her in person, this mold anyway. But I really like her. She's really nice. I really like her markings. Her mark Alright, so, yeah, this is controversial. So... The actual horse is a gelding or stallion, I'm not really sure, but the mold is a female, <laughs> so 
I call it a her because the hor the model itself is a mare. But the actual horse is a gelding or stallion, so just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> so yeah, the only flaw on her is let's see. She has a few like maybe a couple flaws at the least. She doesn't have many. The only flaw that really made me upset was she just has the silver stuff on her. I don't know if it's like box rubbing, like the box rubbing against her, or if it's just. I don't even know. It's just silver paint on her. And I tried like rubbing it off, but it doesn't work, and I didn't want to damage her, so I just left it. It's not like I show my models, so it's not really that big of a deal. Even though this this is her on um, good side anyway. And yeah, I love her nonetheless. She's really nice. So yeah, that's her. Carry on. So after after I traded for this guy, we just kept looking around the Clarion until like a little later because I wanted to I wanted to go into a couple more rooms, and I went into this one room. And I saw this beautiful model that I really just fallen in love with. And he was being priced for 80, I want to say. He was $80. So I started talking to the woman and my dad was with me and we started negotiating with her and I got this guy for $60. He's a Briarfest 2008 special run, I do believe. So here he is, this is a limerick, and like I said, I just have a thing for glossies, so I knew I had to have this guy. I absolutely love his color and his shading. He has such nice shading. His dappling's really nice. You can kind of see it there. He has some right there, too. And more on this side. He's just a really beautiful horse. I absolutely love this guy. He's my first on this mold as well. And I might be getting more on this mold. Really depends. So, yeah. That is him. Okay, so the last horse I got Friday, no, not Friday, Saturday. There we go. That's the day. Saturday night at the Clarion was. A horse I've just been dying to have ever since I've seen him. He's my first horse on this mold. He's my first horse that's in the Premier Collection. So yes, he is a Premier Collection model. And this... He was being sold for $200. But... We went into the Clarion room. You already know who it is. But we went into the Clarion room. And the woman was there and I started looking around. I didn't see his box because Abdul was in front of it. She had an Abdul, Abdul in front of it. So I thought it was in the box for Abdul or something. But I kept looking around and my dad got my attention. He's like, hey, come over here. Look at this tag. Look at this box. And I was like, it's just Abdul. He's like, no, look. And so I read the front of the box and it said True North. And I read the tag. It said $200. But then she put a sticker over that. And he was being sold for a hundred dollars. So I went over to her. I was like, are you really selling your True North for a hundred dollars? Because this guy goes for like 200 plus on average. And so she was like, yeah. Do you want to look at him? I can get him out of the box for you. And I was like, yes, please. I would like to look at this horse. I didn't really say that, but kind of the gist of what I said. I was like, yes, please. So she got him out. Started looking him over. This guy is absolutely like flawless. He... He's absolutely gorgeous, and so I got, we started negotiating the price for him, and I got this guy for 75 bucks. A premier collection horse, who is very limited, very expensive, not the most expensive, but he's pretty expensive, for $75. I could not believe it. And so, here he is. This horse is my all-time favorite horse of my collection. He, I, I just cannot believe I'm holding him right now. He's just a model I really wanted to have in my collection. He's just so pretty. 
His markings are very crisp. His shading is absolutely stunning and his color is just gorgeous. I just love this boy so much. He's very, well not very detailed eyes, but he does have brown eyes. They're like tri-colored, three-colored, they're like black, white, and brown. I just cannot believe I got him for 75 bucks. Because he's, he's stunning. He has horseshoes. Ugh. He's just so pretty. And here is his um, bag and certificate of authenticity for him. And there's just a quick glance at it if you want to pause and read you can so yeah he's kind of my favorite find of Briarfest this year last year it was Juniper who was a uh, I want to say collector club or something I know he's limited to like 350 and he's like the rarest horse I have I'm pretty sure so yeah Here's just an overview of everyone I got. Sorry, that's my camera strap. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I just wanna explain to you why it took me so long to make my Briarfest haul. It's been like two weeks or so since I've gotten back. These guys have just been chilling out in their boxes and bags. It's because I now have shelving. <laughs> this is my computer room that I'm in right now. And I got all this shelving yesterday. And I moved my glass case in here. And I'm just getting everything set up. And I'll do a collection tour later. So I just have to finish up putting everyone up. And displaying them nicely. And all that beautiful stuff. So, yeah. That's why it took me so long. I really apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.